Does it ever overflow the screen? So well, we're just going to wait here, even though we could, we could go do something else for a few minutes. The well, honey company policy is we don't leave the room when the honey gate's open. Yep. Why? <laughs> <laughs> There's uh, some details um, and the videos are instructional videos on beekeeping that just don't need to be explained. <laughs> so what do you do when you have a honey spill? Uh, so that gets scraped up off the floor. Don't throw it away. It's good bee food, right? It never end up in a jar that would be sold for consumption, right? But it's still perfectly fine to feed back to the bees. There's, I don't know what's on your floor. It depends on where you're extracting. I guess I shouldn't say that. There might be motor oil. There could be uh, there could be floor floor soap from. There could be a, who knows what's on the floor. But if the honey hits the floor and it was a reasonably clean floor, just uh, feed it back to the bees. So the reason we don't leave the room while the honey gate's open is our seaweed floor. If that flowed over, we've got enough space to accommodate the honey from this tank into this tank. So it's not going to end up on the floor, but it might flow over the sieve and then it's not strained. So I want to watch this carefully so it doesn't, uh, doesn't go over the screen. If you liked this video, be sure to check out our beekeeping courses at thehoneycompany.com. We're offering six full-length beekeeping courses for beginning, intermediate, and advanced beekeepers. See you there!